how do we develop strong faith? We are bound to thank God always for you, brethren, as it is fitting, because your faith grows exceedingly, and the love of every one of you all abounds towards each other, so that we ourselves boast of you among the churches of God for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure. So Paul is commending these people. He says, you know, we, we want to thank God for you because your faith is growing exceedingly. Nurture our faith with the word of God. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We nurture our faith by being part of a community of faith. You need to belong to a community that will build your faith, not tear your faith down. That the sharing of your faith may become effective by the acknowledgement of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. That word sharing is the Greek word koinonia, which is the New Testament word for fellowship. Nurture your faith with testimonies of faith. The more stories you hear about God doing wonderful things, your faith is going to be encouraged. Psalm 105 verse 2, it says, sing to him, sing psalms to him, talk of all his wondrous works. Talk about the things that God has done, the miracles he's done, truths that undergird strong faith. If you and I want to be people of strong, bold, confident, dominating faith in God, you and I must be established in certain truths in the word of God. Be established in the integrity of God's word. John 17, 17, Jesus said, sanctify them by thy truth, thy word is truth. Be established in, the fin in Christ's finished work on the cross. Understand what Jesus did on the cross. He's not just some savior uh, dying there, bleeding there, and you feel sorry for him. Being sorry for Jesus dying on the cross will do you no good. Everything Adam brought us under through the fall, Christ delivered us through the cross. Everything. The cross is God's complete antidote for the fall. Be established in our identity in Christ. You need to know who you are in Jesus Christ. The Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Be established in the reality of the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. There is no power greater than the power of God's Spirit through you. In John 7 verse 38, he who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart... Our innermost being will flow rivers of living What? The presence and the power of the Holy Spirit is flowing to touch people, to minister to people. So you need to have confidence in the power of the Holy Spirit. Number five, be established in the authority of the name of Jesus. Jesus said this in Mark 16, 17 and 18. These signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. Practices that develop strong faith. If you want to build capacity in your inner man, in your spirit man, how much more? So what are those practices? Number one, always declare God's word. You can't say, yesterday I said it. Yesterday doesn't count. What do you say now? What do you say now? Always maintain a clear conscience. You see, faith cannot work without a clear conscience. What do you mean by a clear conscience? It means it's a heart that doesn't condemn you. Always exercise your faith. So faith is like a muscle, we said in the beginning. The more you exercise it, the more it's going to grow. In every situation, have a faith response. Think, speak, and act in faith. What would Jesus say if he was there? He would only say, fear not, believe. Always be motivated by love. Galatians 5, 6, Paul writes, For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything, but faith working through love. Faith works through love. In other words, if there is no love, faith can't work. 